Um, we'll turn next um, to Desire Bennett, who also is um, someone who's going to bring us the story from her heart and her life about the Rhode Island Works Program and how these changes can be helpful. So Desire, take it away. You're, you're on mute. You have to unmute yourself. Desire. Hi. Hey. Hello. Um, I have what I'm going to say written in my phone, so I'm not sure when I switch to that app if my camera will go off, but um, just going to go ahead and just speak. Um, so my name is Desire Barrett. I'm 29 years old. I'm a single mother. Me and my son are both recipients of RI Works um, since giving birth to him in December of 2019. Um, it is an honor to be on this board and speak um, because though I struggle with meeting basic needs for me and my son, um, you know, my hard work doesn't go un unnoticed. Um, me and my son have been suffering from homelessness since April of 2020. Um, he was four months old at the time. He is now 15 months old. In October of 2020, um, just a few months of while back, I um, came across an ad um, for a dental assistant course, a free dental assistant course through CAP Agency. Um, the interview take was very intense. Um, a lot of, like, 200 applicants applied. I was, you know, blessed and able to... Um, start the program and finish the program. So now I'm a, I am a certified dental assistant. Um, attaining this certification puts me in a position to start a career and not just a job. And, you know, while I am using my resources and doing what I can to keep me afloat, I still struggle um, with me and my son. Um, I'm going to be honest, I cry a lot. Um, I am an emotional person, but I, I'm a first time mom as well, and I feel like I'm failing. Um, so I just try every day to do the best I can. Um, you know, if this bill was passed, it would be very helpful for me and my son as well as for other Rhode Island families um, to secure, um, to, to, to be able to obtain security in order to get stability in the long run. Um, the in increase of the benefits will help me meet everyday basic needs easier. Um, right now, my son doesn't receive clothing allowance because he is not of age due to the requirement. But if the bill passes, he will be able to. Um, and that would ease some relief for me because he grows daily. Um, you know, sometimes I, I, I have <laughs> woken up and his clothes don't fit him, but that's what I have, so I have to put it on him. Um, so that would be a very relief, a big relief. Um, with that, with everything else going on, um, I do apologize. I'm very nervous, and this is my reality, so it's hard for me to speak on it. Um, the um, the bill would allow me to keep receiving benefits a period of time. Desire, you're doing great. Take a take your breath. The bill will allow me to keep receiving benefits a period of time after we, you know, after locating pay, uh, employment, which would be a blessing because it would provide me a lead way to, to create a savings for me and my son if anything, another problem or something was to come. Um, you know, if, if I am, I'm, I'm not able to locate, um, which I am currently having a little trouble locating employment, um, but... You know, do, if I if the bill was passed, I would be able to just, um, you know, extend the time at CCRI and, you know, get even more, a more education, um, which would, I'm sorry, because now I'm just not even reading. I'm just speaking on myself. Um, but if, you know, it would, it would provide me with more extended time at CCRI if the bill's passed to obtain an even better career and more education to pay for the cost of living here in our ride. Um, when I lost my job um, and I had my son, I applied to the resources that I knew of under the impression I would be able to maintain my apartment 
until I return to work within the next few months. Instead, you know, because of the com economy has changed over the last 30 years and the state benefits haven't, you know, increased to meet that or be able to subsidize that, um, me and my family are currently suffering, suffering and not able to maintain our necessities, base, basic necessities. The changes presented in this bill bring more security just for families to cover basic needs in, in this. And this is what Rhode Island needs to help with the poverty break. You all set, Desire? Yes, I am. Well, it was amazing. Um, I hope you'll click on the chat. Um, you'll see I that. I just did. <laughs> okay. See all of the support that people are, are sending. Um, Thank you. I think both, again, sharing your story we know is very difficult. And similarly for Jillian being willing to step up and, um, and speak out is so critical. Um, it really you know, it just, we can talk about this, but you talk from the heart and from experience. So again, we really appreciate your, your stepping forward and, you know, hope, desire that you're going to find a, a permanent place to live with your son and, and a job soon and Jillian, you know, success in moving forward with your career as well. You're both incredibly strong women and we'll remember you for public speaking, Jillian. Thank you, God. Okay, thanks, desire. Keep looking at the chat because more more support's coming in. <laughs>